starts in this cannon situation real quick. You know, he's not happy. He's not happy with the playing time. Um, he, you know, after the situation with the Greek freak, he came out. He was tight about the playing time. <clears throat> you know, then they asked whether he wants to be traded or not. He's, you know, said all the PC political things. I'm happy here. I love the fans. Blah, blah, blah. Um, they asked Fisdale about the situation. Uh, he basically said, you know, that's up to, to Mills and Perry, but, you know, he's part of the team. He's one of my guys and, and, you know, I'm going to ride for my guys. Um, what do we do here? What, what do we do here? How do we uh, handle this Canner situation? Um, is it time to part ways, man? Give me, give me your takes uh, on this Canner situation. What do we do with this? Uh, it, it might be, man. It might be. Sad to say, it might be like I know everybody hates Canter. Canter is my guy. Yeah. Canter was my guy when I wanted. Even though the defense is rocky, I still feel like he's. I feel. I feel. I, I know people feel like he's watched or something. La 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 la. I feel like there's still a role for him in the NBA as a backup center. He can score off the bench. As you can see today, I felt, you know, he negative, you know, minus one when he's getting up, going up against these other centers, it, it, look, it looks all right. Starting centers, not so much because he can't, he can't move and stretch. But um, it might be time to move him. On, like, it's going to get worse. I think that's, I think that's what, what I'm getting at. It's going to get worse because his minutes are being reduced right now and Mitch is not even playing. Yeah. So when Mitch is playing, it's going to be a lot more complicated when Mitch gets back. So it, it might be time to move him just, just because of the distractions, you know what I'm saying? And if we're not going to trade him, at least see if we can get something back from him. Yeah. I think, um, listen, it's a tough situation. Here's my whole take on a Canada situation. Um, it's a tough situation. He came here in the mellow trade, and last year he was he was a shining spot for us. Last year, in what was another brutal year for us, um, the double doubles. He, you know, he, he came in, said all the right things. He embraced mm-hmm. the city, embraced the fans. Everything was cool. No defensive uh, deficiencies aside, everything was cool. <clears throat> when we got rid of Noah this off season, I thought we were finally at a point where we could. Yes, we still had some veterans that, you know, we still need to move, including, you know, we need to move on from Cannon. We need to move on from Courtney and Lance. But I thought from a maturity standpoint, from a leadership standpoint, from a veteran leadership standpoint, I thought we had the right guys to help yeah. to help move the rebuild along. You know what I mean? Yeah, to help move yeah, the tank he's, along. He's been, a, he's been a distraction. And now it's becoming a distraction, man. Yeah. That's, now that's it's becoming a, a distraction. You know, so... We're sitting here, the guy, he opted into this deal, JL, said $18 million. Like, you signed up for this. You know what I mean? Rightfully so. Anybody would have taken it. If you had a chance to sign up for $18 million or reject it at, at a risk of taking way less in the open market, you're going to take your $18 million that's, that's owed to you, right? Yeah. So, and my thing is, you signed up for it. Yes, it's understandable that you're frustrated. But why are you bringing it up in, through, the, through the Twitter and the, and the media, man? That that's the wrong way to go about it, Jails. I feel you. And you know what else too? Like the problem also is too, we're not we're too thin at that big man spot right now. Yeah. To to even trade him, even though like or even it, cut him. Bit, or, or cut like we're too thin. Like Mitch Mitchell Robinson has too much of an injury history already. Yeah. I call I call Mitch a uh, a uh, uh, a working a work in progress. He's a working project. You know what I mean? They're yeah. playing him to give him that experience, but he's not ready. Mitch is not ready physically, mentally, everything. He's not ready. You know, he plays, and when he plays, he, he's he can still impact the game. But as you see now with the with the nagging injuries, he can't. He's not holding up. Yeah. So that's that's <laughs> gonna be a problem. Like you're re- like. We're we're in a little we're in a little bit of a rock and hard place a little bit. Yeah, because it seems like when he's making these overtures in the media, um, he, it seems like he's trying to sow those seeds to get up out of here. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He seems like he's trying to sow those seeds to get up out of here. Yeah, I can't. I don't know how you keep kind of going that direction and not and not think nothing's gonna. I mean, I mean, listen, like I know we all know that. Team Wakanda, Mills in them, and yeah. shout the uh, Sports Squad Gaming for, for joining. Sports Squad, really, shout out. Yeah, man. Watch Nate dance. Yeah, go ahead. 
you know they keep an eye on the social media thing. Yes. I can't even imagine them not contacting cancer and bringing them in the office. Because that's uh, they they they're open communication all year long. They over communicate. That's just what they do. So I can't imagine him doing all this and them not approaching. Him. I just can't. So I don't know, man. Like he's to me, like like you said, man. We so thin. He's got to stick around, man. Yeah, he got to stick around. Like he, it seems like he has to be rattling the cage. He has to be rattling the cage. He has yeah. to. Be. Because they they they're not the type of not to ignore. It. Facts. He, he's so, got I mean, he's got to stick around, man. Yeah, man. Like, I feel the like hell it was, up. <laughs> Shut I feel up. like I feel like if we had another option, he'd be gone already. <clears throat> yeah, I, I agree with that. We or on his or on his way. Yeah. Listen, man, take your AT mail and shut the hell up, man. Please. <laughs> like, it's understandable. The frustrations, oh, I want to be an all-star, whatever. Listen, man. Yeah. Just, just, just and, be quiet about it. And, and to Ace, it's not about playing Mitch. Mitch is not healthy. And to and actually, to answer your question. Yeah, we can't even play Mitch if we wanted to. Yeah, and to answer your question why I back Cancer, is like, I back him, but I don't back him. You know what I mean? Like, I like Cancer because of what he did for us last season. Yeah. He's standing up for him. Send up for LeBron James, and I like a lot of his. I like a lot of what he does for our team, like morality wise, uh, pumping guys up, keeping things positive. I don't like, obviously, the defense. I don't like the defense, and I don't like the distraction. And I yeah. don't. I definitely don't like the the weird kissing up to the free agents thing. Facts. Facts. LeBron in particular. But yeah, I, that was kind of cheesy. That was kind of cheesy. Yeah, man. Like, I don't like every single thing he does. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I I do like when he came here. He brought that. I'm sticking up for my guy mentality that we were missing. Like, right. We I were, like I, that I, part I, of it. I like yeah. that part of it. Mm-hmm. But you know, the rest is um, kind of surprised me. It's funny. I was um, not arguing, but debating. Um, and and an unnamed player's uh, family member. We'll, we'll put it that way. Hit me on on the gram and was talking about the situation and you know she was like well he's 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 telling the truth what's the issue why you want to trade him and and trade him or release him and I'm just like listen the way he's handling it and the way your family members handling that adversity is night and day you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I'm like you need you he, he needs to follow that man's lead and not throw it out into the Twitter sphere, into the media, because you know how the media is, man. They just jump on it like a cesspool and let it un- un- until it festers into something bigger, man. Yeah, man. Like, like I said, I, I think I said, this, I think we said this. Before, man. I, just don't, just don't be, in, if he's, don't be an distraction. Right. It's okay. Like people will get on me, on me for defending cancer. Cause I feel like if you're losing and you also have a chance to lose money, like, no one wants to be in that situation. You're going to want to play. It's okay to want to play. I get it. I would want to play, too, especially if you're losing and you feel like you can do something for your team. Like, you want to play. But that there's certain things that should be in-house. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you don't put – you don't bring everything to Twitter. You don't bring everything to Instagram. That's That was the biggest problem I had with Phil Jackson news. Yeah. Oh, that, like, that don't even get me started on that because that, yeah, was, that like, was just, oh man, like, don't even get me started on that. Yeah, one. like it's okay to be mad that you're not playing and getting minutes. It's okay to feel that way. Like I, I feel like, but you still have to kind of be professional. Facts, factuals, factuals. But yeah, that, that was our soapbox on the Cannon situation. What do you guys think about it? Leave a comment in the chat. I see the chat's going in on the Cannon. Leave a comment. In the video, if you watch it later on in the replay, what do you guys think about the Cannon situation and um, how do we resolve this, man? How do we resolve it? But um, but good talking at JLs. Check out my next video, the top 10 dunks of 2018. Oh, knocks! Well, there's one Nick highlight. And what has been a long, long evening for the Knicks. Six tonight. Slamming and jamming over Mobamba. Yeah. 